Welcome back everybody to part two of Pavement Pounders. Now I wasn't sure how well my Pavement Pounder video would go over, but apparently my viewers really like them and they appreciate them like I do. So I thought I'd show you the second part of the Pavement Pounders. These ones are actually copyright 2001 and as you can see on the end of the package there's copyright 2001 and there's the vehicles that were available at that time now some of these were continued over from the 2000 but these were newer ones for 2001 and we'll start with this guy. Now, this is a total fantasy rig, obviously. Same with that one. But it was cool enough. I really liked it a lot. You got the wing on the front or on the top. And basically, same kind of construction. And the wrap comes down. And what I really liked about this was the willies. So the willies had been out for a little while. So there's no copyright as I can see, but. But the willies was fairly new. I think it came out, <clears throat> I don't know, 98, 99, something like that. So. It was a good candidate to put in a hauler's line and very cool artwork on it. Robo Willie's Repair. And so this was a cool one I had to buy. And then of course they're going way out there, futuristic style. So I thought it was pretty cool and I like this casting too let's see if there's a copyright on the bottom copyright 2000 this is a maelstrom Anyways, that's the name of the vehicle, and it's a futuristic looking hot rod, I guess, supercar, whatever you want to call it. But it was a cool casting. And then, of course, the Road Pirates racing. So here you have a bed that slides, and it tilts. And this pops up so you can see the interior. So I thought that was very cool, a working feature on, on the cab. So that is pretty sharp. And of course that goes in the back. But, and then two other vehicles for 2001. Well, I found this one, and of course, I had to have it because I love the Scorching Scooter. And I've been collecting that casting. Of course, there you go, right on the back there. And so this one I've kept sealed. And the price, well, this was at Zeller's again. And then we had... Sears. Sears closed up a couple of years ago. And this is another one that I've kept sealed. You got the Lotus inside and another, I guess, what would you call it? Art Deco futuristic design? I don't know. But there it is there. And then there were other cars.
So there's the video of the continuation of my pavement founders from the last video. Now it was a while that I've been collecting these and I think I stopped collecting them because I guess the trucks were just looking too odd and well, these aren't odd, I think these are cool, but they did make some really weird looking stuff and so I really stopped buying them. And then fast forward to 2013 when they came out with these cool rigs. This one's actually open. And I'll pull this up. There we go. We don't need that right now. But I thought these were really cool. Pull out the bone shaker. Now these still have the metal chassis, which is nice. Metal chassis, metal bodies. And we'll pull this guy out. And now, if you like the bone shaker and like hot rods, then you gotta love this one. This is such a cool rig. And on the back of the package, which I have a second version, because they produce at least two versions of every vehicle. So there's the back of the package there. There's the other one there. And this particular one I didn't care for, so obviously I'm not gonna buy it. So what's really neat about this is they got the faster than ever wheels on the cab and the trailer. These are the PR5s, I believe. And then here they got the more PR5s, but then they got the faster than ever wheels on this one. So these are really two cool rigs that I absolutely love. And let's see, I got one more. Quarter mile coupe. Really like that a lot. And then another futuristic or art deco style of the cab, but I thought that was pretty cool too. So of course on the back, there's more. And this is copyright 2013. And this one came in a dark blue cabin trailer with flames on it. And I would have liked to get that one to go with this, but I'm very happy to have these ones. So thank you for tuning in again. If you haven't subscribed yet please do leave a comment and thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one